Keep moaning, moaning on in the blues. What's going on, everybody? This is Shane Thomas, ready to show you another country classic on the acoustic guitar. This time, this video, we are going to learn Moaning the Blues by Hank Williams Sr. Came out in 1950 and was the fourth number one single for Hank Williams Sr. The people that watch this YouTube channel know my love and respect for Hank Williams Sr. And this is a great example of simple songwriting that's very hard to do. This classic that is just a bunch of fun to play, even though the message and the lyrics, the poor person is hurting in this song. They're moaning the blues. You can't get much more low down than moaning the blues. But when you're playing and strumming along and singing along, you, you're going to feel pretty good and have some fun, I guarantee it. So this song won't take as long to learn. Just about four chords is all we're going to learn. Some little variations that I'll show you if you want to put them in. You don't have to. Before we get going, though, if you want to learn how to play the acoustic guitar and learn a bunch of country songs, I mean a bunch of country songs, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And that notification bell so you can get all the latest guitar tutorials of these country classics as I publish them. And if you have any requests, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. I love getting these requests uh, from all around the world. Uh, matter of fact, this song here, Moaning the Blues, was requ requested by William. I appreciate it, William, for watching and requesting this song. You got good taste in music, just like all my subscribers and viewers all around the world uh, sharing my love of country music and these country songs. I love it and it's my pleasure to show each and every one of you how to play the songs that you want to learn on the acoustic guitar and I appreciate every single request that I get. It means a lot to me to share my love of these country songs and show you all how to play them. So, very very simple song. The way I play it is pretty much in the key of G that's what I grew up playing, the, the version that I've listened to Hank Williams sing, that I played along to in the records and the CDs and stuff growing up, is in the key of G. So let's uh, make that chord first, because we're going to use it a lot. So G, third fret, sixth string, press that, put a finger down there. Put a finger on that second fret, fifth string, play the second, third, and fourth string open, and Play the third fret of the first string. That's a G note. If you're curious about why that note and that note, so the first string, third fret, and the sixth string, third fret sound the same. Because they're the same note, just different octaves, the G note. And there we go. Got one chord down, three more to go. D is your next chord. D is first string, second fret. Put that middle finger there, skip a string, put your first finger on the third string, second fret, then put that pinky or ring finger right there in between on the second string, third fret, strum down with your fourth string on down. Check out those chord diagrams if you need to, if you, if you need uh, help knowing where your fingers go and what uh, strings to strum. Now the G, I, I think I neglected to mention, but make sure you strum all those strings. Speaking of strumming, I think this song is best played just a bunch of down strings. Just down. Now, a lot of songs, many songs in fact, if you think of the acoustic guitar like a percussion instrument, like a drum, so you just picture like beating down on this strings like you're hitting the drum. That might help you with the rhythm drumming pattern of this song. Now you hear that. I'm kind of ringing that bass note right there, that G bass note. Kind of as I kind of alternate. Or as I'm going down, I make sure I hit that one pretty good. Down, 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 D. G. A little short intro, even though the core of uh, the song's in the key of G, with how it intros the, the, the steel guitar on that D, G. And you 
start singing. Y'all ready? Strum along, stay on that G. When my baby moved out and the blues moved in, there was nothing I could do. Stay on G, step slowly around with my head in my hands, Lord. Now, D, what am I coming to? Back G, I could just keep D moaning. Stay on D, moan in the blues. Back to G. Do it again in its entirety. Stay on G, because it's in the key of G. And now that is down strokes. When my baby moved out and the blues moved in, there wasn't nothing I could do. Stay on G, step mosey around with my head in my hands. Now the D coming to back to G. Moan in D, moan in the blues, back to G. All right, so that, see how simple that is? G and D, G and D. And you primarily stay on D for the, or G for the most part. So intro, start out in D to G. You just stay there at G. Eventually you go back to, or go down to D. Back to G. Now, here's an, think of this song like, I have probably three different sections. Well, four, there's a, there's a solo, which you kind of have different chords uh, patterns going to, which I'll get to, but the intros G and D, or D, starting D actually to G, the verses are G and D. Now here's your different section, which is one of my favorite sections of the song. So we just ended moaning, moaning the blues. Now we're going to learn a couple more chords, okay? Here's the third of our fourth chord that we have to learn, C. C, you put C chord, you put a, the first finger on the second string, first fret, skip a string, put that middle finger on the fourth fret, or excuse me, fourth string, second fret, and then the fifth string on the third fret you press down with that ring finger. Strum down, fifth string on down. Now what you could do, what I was talking about, variations, you don't have to do this, but a lot of these chords you could play sevens. So basically like the C7, it's like that C, but the letter I just showed you how to play and the chord diagram shows you how to play. But if you put the ring finger on the third, instead of it playing it open, you put that ring finger on the third string, third fret. Kind of gives it a different bluesy sound. Since we're moaning the blues, that might be helpful. So, but let's stick with C right now. So the, the part goes, so we just ended with moaning, moaning the blues. I rode in that C, back to G, saying, Mama, please come home, G. All right, so that little section, that first line or lyric of that uh, section is, if you want to call it the bridge, you can call it the bridge. I wrote a nice long letter, C to G. Saying, Mama, please come home. C and G. You do that twice, okay? C and G twice. Here's a new chord. Your daddy is alone, awesome. A is right, is the chord right there. A is very simple. You can use one finger or three separate fingers. Long as you press down on the second fret on the second, third, and fourth strings. Fifth string on down, or fifth string open, I should say. And you strum on down and leave that first string open too. So, now like I was saying with the C7, if you want to lose it up even more, you can play and keep the third string open. So what I'm doing here for an A7, this is an A7. You push your first finger on the fourth string, second fret, leave the third string open, but press down, keep your finger on that second fret, second string, and play the first string open. So here's two versions. So let's, I'm gonna do it with the C to the G to the A, then I'm gonna play it C to the G to the A7. See if you can tell the difference. Hopefully it's not too much. I just want to give you all a bunch of varieties so you all in the future could vary it up if you wanted to. I wrote a nice long letter. Mama, please come home. Hey, your daddy is alone, awesome. 
All right, that's first down. Let's. I need to work on my yodeling. <laughs> Let's try it with the A7. I rode a nice seat of G. Tell mama, please come home, G. Your daddy is a lonesome. So here's the difference. A with second, third, and fourth string pressed down. Kind of a bright, kind of, ooh, perky kind of thing. But if you take a finger off that third string, but still press down on the fourth and the second string, second fret, here is the... See if y'all can tell the difference. Listen. However we, way you want to do it. If you want to keep it simple, let's don't add any sevens and play it like this. I wrote a nice long letter telling mama please come home. Your daddy is a lonesome. Now the D. All I do is moan. You know the D already. So that's it for that section. That section is just basically A to D or A7 to D. Then if you want, before you go back to another verse, I like doing that every now and then. So that's just the fifth string, open, second fret, on the fifth string, and then fourth fret on the si on the fifth string. If you want to add another little flavor to it, all right. So there's our couple sections. We just left off. Your daddy is a lonesome, and all I do is moan. Now we go into another verse. I've been loving that gal for so doggone long I can't afford her to leave her now, G Thought I was right, but I must have been wrong Let's go to D, not to bow back to Jesus Stop moaning, moaning the blues, G Now here's another section This is where the steel guitar, then the fiddle solo So you just keep strumming So basically it's C So when you're playing along, if you want to play along to the fiddle and a steel guitar, just C and G, just a bunch of C's and G's, or a few C and G's, I think. And then A, then you know you're going to end it on that D. And then you go back to uh, the G, which, because we're going to sing another verse. If you want a good guy to stay around, you got to treat her nice and kind G. Do her wrong, she'll leave this town and Indeed, the verses, right? And you'll start moaning, D. Moaning the blues, back to G. All right, we're going to play that C section again. Not that kind of C section, but musical C section. Oh, baby, baby, G. C. G. A. A. Let's do that section one more time. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Honey, baby, please come home. Your daddy is a lonesome. And all I do is moan. One more verse, all right? I promise you, baby, that I'll be good and never be bad no more. I'll never be bad no more. I'm sitting here waiting for you right now to come walking through that front door. I'm starting. I'll stop moaning. Moan in the blue. Moaning. Moan in the blue. All right, so let's put a bow on this guitar tutorial. Intro, D, G. Now you're going to be at G for a long time, it seems like, for most of this verse. But eventually, so G to D. Verses are basically G and D. And then you got two little bridges, I'll call them bridges, is C. So the first bridge is I wrote a long, nice long letter, G. C, G. 
the whole when you you basically only use the A or use it in the solo a little bit too as you're strumming along, but but in the bridges, when you hear that moan of daddy, daddy, that's A. So think of yourself like a daddy. I'm a daddy. That's when you go to that uh that was an emphatic A right there. A right there. Okay, so when he starts moaning and saying daddy. That's when you know to go to A. Then to D. Then you're going to go back to the G. Strum down, 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 D. 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 Oh, on in the blues. D. So then you got a little solo. Just kind of strum along with G or C, G. C, G, and then uh, A, then D, and then you go back into another verse, and then you go into one more bridge, which is the C, G, C, G, C, G, A, daddy, D. If you want that little open fifth, second, fourth. <laughs> And that's it. Well, you, well, excuse me. You go back into the one more final verse. Promise you, baby, that I'll be good and I won't be bad no more. That kind of thing. Then you end and just a bunch of moan. Stop moaning the blues. Stop moaning the blues. And that's how you play moaning the blues. See, that's the genius of Hank Williams. He's talking about he's going to start moaning the blues, but at that very last lyric or lit, uh, verse I should say he's going to stop moaning if she walks through the front door we all have been there we just want we want our significant others come through that front door again and make up and everything be alright and we would stop moaning the blues so, <laughs> so this is how great songwriters uh, get through to each and every one of us this thing was written in 1950 and is still giving people pleasure to play all these years later gosh my goodness almost what 100 years almost well give or take 30 years i guess but that's how you play it very simple song very fun song to play very witty song i love his use of simple words and that yodeling because you know he's hurting and that's how you play moaning the blues all right if y'all have any Requests, go ahead and put them in the request section below. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And that notification bell so you get all the latest guitar tutorials as soon as I publish them. Y'all keep strumming and humming. I'm Shane Thomas. Moaning, moaning the blues.